Prepare to mark the date of April 8th, 2024 on your calendars, as an extraordinary celestial spectacle is on the horizon. Brace yourselves for a remarkable event, a total solar eclipse of rare occurrence. This particular eclipse holds intriguing connections to the predictions surrounding the 2024 elections, which will have significant impacts on both the United States and Israel. Some even suggest that this astronomical phenomenon could be a foreboding sign of the fabled end times. By delving into ancient texts and modern interpretations, we discover a tapestry of references linking celestial phenomena to prophetic narratives about the culmination of history. Throughout various passages in the Bible, references to the sun, moon, stars, and eclipses are intertwined with prophecies of the eschaton, the final epic of human existence. For example, Jesus alludes to celestial signs heralding the last days in Luke 21, 25, a theme echoed across diverse religious and cultural traditions. Given these age-old prophecies and their enduring significance, it is no wonder that whenever extraordinary celestial events occur, minds turn to contemplation, wondering if fate is guiding the celestial dance towards its ultimate crescendo. In today's presentation, we embark on a journey to unravel the mystery surrounding this impending solar eclipse. By peeling back layers of interpretation and drawing upon historical context, biblical insights, contemporary global events, and astute analysis of the prevailing circumstances, we aim to discern its true significance. Trust me when I say that the revelations awaiting us at the end of this exploration will leave you awestruck, forever altering how we perceive the cosmos and our place within it. To fully grasp the importance of celestial events like solar or lunar eclipses, it is imperative to cast our gaze both backward and forward, considering historical context, biblical insights, contemporary global happenings, and astute analysis of the current circumstances. Through this multifaceted approach, we strive to unravel whether such phenomena serve as genuine omens or merely contribute to the intricate tapestry of unfolding biblical prophecy. As the wise words of Ecclesiastes 1.9 remind us, what has occurred in the past will happen again, and what has been done will be done again. Highlighting the repetitive nature of historical events and their echoes over time, a remarkable twist emerges amidst the ebb and flow of human affairs. Despite the ever-changing tides of time, the unchanging essence of God stands as an unwavering beacon, transcending the passage of time. Consequently, it follows that God's way of communicating and dealing with sin in nations remains steadfast, mirroring the evident patterns seen throughout history and scripture. One of the recurring themes that resonate throughout time is the concept of idolatry and how the divine responds to a nation's transgressions. Thus, as we navigate the complexities of interpreting celestial signs and their potential theological significance, we must pay attention to the lessons of the past, recognizing the timeless truths woven into the fabric of existence. By discerning the patterns of divine interaction with humanity, we can gain insights into the unfolding drama of cosmic history and our place within its grand narrative. Throughout biblical history, we witness a profound interplay between prophetic messages and the accompanying signs of divine intervention. Notably, every significant prophet tasked with confronting Israel's idolatry and sin was inevitably accompanied by specific omens and warnings that foretold future events. Delving into the cryptic imagery of Revelation 6, we encounter the enigmatic symbolism of the four horsemen, each representing a facet of God's judgment upon nations. If you have an opinion about the topic of this video, please comment with the number 1 if you like it, or 0 if you don't, so I can create better content for you. The first horseman symbolizes conquest or leadership leading to discord and upheaval on a global scale and setting the stage for subsequent turmoil. Following in its wake, the specter of war is unleashed, bringing strife and conflict that shatter the once prevailing fragile peace. Then famine descends, casting shadows of economic distress and agricultural hardship across the land. Finally, death rides forth, bringing the grim specter of pestilence and disease marking the culmination of divine retribution. 
While these harbingers of judgment unfold throughout human history, they also echo the recurring patterns woven throughout scripture's pages. Time and again, we observe these signs emerging in response to the sins and idolatry of nations, underscoring the cyclical nature of divine intervention across the ages. Let's consider the case of Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonian monarch appointed by God to administer judgment upon Israel and its neighboring nations. Prior to the sieges and conquests, the prophet Jeremiah forewarned of a devastating plague and famine that ravaged the land, weakening the strength of nations and paving the way for Babylon's advance. This somber tableau serves as a stark reminder of the intricate interplay between divine decree and human agency, unfolding against the backdrop of history's ceaseless march. Within the pages of Jeremiah 38 verse 2, we come across a strong declaration from the Almighty outlining the destiny that awaits those who remain resolute in the face of impending judgment. The message is clear. Those who choose to hold on to the besieged city will meet their demise through the devastating effects of sword, famine, and disease. Conversely, those who opt to surrender to the king of Babylon will be granted the gift of life, spared from the imminent calamity. Fast forward to recent years, particularly the tumultuous era that began in 2020, and we find ourselves confronted with a series of events that bear a striking resemblance to the biblical warnings of old. From the emergence of a global pandemic symbolizing the prophesied plague in Revelation, to the specter of famine and economic hardship gripping nations worldwide and the eruption of widespread civil unrest and discord manifesting in protests and demonstrations. Even the ominous rumblings of conflict on the international stage with the looming shadow of war with Russia, the signs are unmistakable. These developments have not only reverberated within the borders of America, but have also cast their long shadows across the entire globe. They serve as potent reminders of the prevalent sin and idolatry gripping nations and the subsequent divine judgment that follows. However, amidst these foreboding signs, it is crucial to approach the interpretation of these events as harbingers of the last days with caution. While the parallels are striking and the mercy of God evident, we must also acknowledge that discerning the precise moment of eschatological fulfillment remains elusive. Nevertheless, what these signs undeniably signify are significant changes on the horizon, prompting introspection and soul-searching on a global scale. Moreover, if indeed these events serve as divine judgments, it stands to reason that there would have been preceding warnings or indications. God, in His infinite wisdom, never acts without first revealing His intentions to His prophets. Therefore, as we navigate the turbulent currents of these uncertain times, let us remain vigilant, heeding the echoes of the past and attuning our hearts to the whispers of divine revelation. For therein lies the key to understanding the unfolding drama of human history. When we delve into the intricate tapestry of prophetic symbolism, we uncover a fascinating correlation between celestial bodies and their allegorical significance within the rich tapestry of biblical prophecy. Did you know that the moon consistently serves as a symbol for Israel, while the sun represents the Gentile nations? Prepare to be intrigued, for the depths of this symbolism are as profound as they are illuminating. Venturing back to the Genesis narrative, we gain insights into the divine orchestration of creation. It is revealed that on the fourth day, the sun, moon, and stars were brought into existence, casting their radiant glow upon the earth. However, what distinguishes this is the revelation that light itself had already permeated the universe on the previous day, enveloping the earth in its radiant embrace. It is an intriguing contrast. The emergence of vegetation on the third day, relying on sunlight and rain for sustenance, preceding the creation of the very source of that light on the subsequent day. How can we reconcile this apparent chronological anomaly? Herein, lies a profound revelation about the indispensable role played by the sun and the moon in nurturing the delicate balance of Earth's climate and ecosystems. Their presence dictates the rhythm of ocean currents, the patterns of weather, and ultimately the distribution of life-sustaining rain across the land. 
In the primordial epic, rain was a rarity, as evidenced by the Genesis account, where shrubs and plants remained absent until a divine decree sent forth streams from the earth to quench the parched soil. Genesis 2, 5-6 offers a glimpse into this prehistoric landscape, where the absence of rain compelled the earth to rely on subterranean springs to water its surface, an eloquent testament to the intricate choreography of divine providence. As we delve into the layers of symbolism woven into the fabric of creation, we are reminded of the profound interconnectedness between the celestial realms and the terrestrial sphere. Each plays a vital role in the grand symphony of existence. The seemingly perplexing sequence of events in the Genesis narrative, where plants emerge on the third day before the creation of the sun, moon, or even rain, unfolds with purpose and precision. Upon closer examination, it reveals a deeper understanding of the multifaceted roles assigned to the celestial luminaries. Genesis 1, 14-19 sheds light on this divine design, revealing that the sun, moon, and stars were fashioned not only to illuminate the heavens, but also to serve as celestial timekeepers. They delineate the passage of day and night, marking the sacred rhythms of time, including festivals and seasons. These cosmic signposts, imbued with divine significance, assume heightened importance within the framework of biblical prophecy, particularly as they portend the unfolding drama of the last days. Joel 2.30-31 paints a vivid tableau of celestial wonders, where the darkening of the sun and the reddening of the moon herald the imminent advent of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. In this prophetic imagery, the darkening of the sun signifies impending turmoil, while the turning of the moon into blood evokes the specter of war and divine judgment. Meanwhile, the motifs of smoke and fire evoke cataclysmic upheavals, such as volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, serving as ominous harbingers of impending tribulation. Therefore, in the grand cosmic arrangement directed by the Creator, the sun and the moon transcend their mere physical functions as sources of light and take on a sacred significance as celestial timekeepers and messengers of divine intervention. Through their cyclical movements across the sky, they bear witness to the unfolding human history, marking the appointed times and seasons ordained by the Almighty. As we navigate the complex paths of prophecy, we should pay attention to the celestial signs and interpret their deeper meanings, as they hold the key to unlocking the mysteries of the ages. Throughout history, celestial phenomena have served as poignant reminders of the prophetic declarations echoed by Jesus himself. The master teacher prophesied a multitude of upheavals, such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and wars, which would herald significant events on the horizon. However, did you know that there are even more intriguing connections within recent astronomical events, particularly the Blood Moon Tetrad of 2014 to 2015, which held profound significance for Israel. If you are interested in this topic, please comment number two. If not, please comment number zero, so I can create a better video for you. During this remarkable period, the heavens orchestrated a series of four consecutive total lunar eclipses, known as blood moons, which were precisely aligned with four major Jewish festivals. This alignment gave rise to what became known as the blood moon tetrad. Despite the unmistakable synchronicity between these astronomical events and the sacred calendar of Israel, many struggle to decipher the true meaning of this celestial sign, leaving its ultimate significance veiled in mystery. That's where symbolism comes into play. The number four assumes great importance within the realm of symbolism, serving as a testament to the universal authority of God's word. Within this intricate tapestry of celestial symbolism, the moon emerges as a potent symbol of divine protection and guidance over the nation and people of Israel. The crimson hue of the eclipsed moon traditionally associated with impending bloodshed and judgment added solemnity to the unfolding drama. Spanning two years, symbolically resonating with the biblical motif of division, the specter of potential division of the land of Israel loomed large, serving as a stark warning to heed the whispers of providence. Therefore, 
As we contemplate the celestial tableau revealed during those momentous years, we are invited to look beyond the veil of the heavens and discern the deeper currents of divine purpose woven through the tapestry of creation. For hidden within the dance of the celestial bodies lies wisdom awaiting those with perceptive eyes and attentive ears to grasp the symphony of prophecy unfolding across the ages. Nevertheless, it is essential to acknowledge that the significance of such an eclipse surpasses mere wonder in the field of astronomy. Instead, its importance lies in its alignment with broader biblical and Israelite contexts. Just a month later, on September 23, 2017, the world witnessed another remarkable spectacle bestowed upon us by the heavens. This event was the alignment of stars and constellations, known as the Sign of Revelation 12. On this momentous date, the constellations of Virgo and Leo, alongside Mercury, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, the Sun, and the Moon, came together in a celestial ballet reminiscent of the vivid imagery described in the pages of Revelation 12. It is worth noting that such a precise alignment has only occurred twice in recorded history. However, the plot thickens as we fast forward to the upcoming 2024 eclipse. The stage is set for a cosmic encore, featuring these very constellations. The celestial dance of Virgo and Leo, accompanied by their planetary companions, is poised to once again captivate the imagination and curiosity of observers around the world. It is a cosmic symphony that resonates across time and space, urging us to contemplate the mysteries of the universe and our place within it. As we bear witness to these celestial marvels, let us remain vigilant and attuned to the signs and wonders unfolding in the heavens above. In their ethereal beauty lies a deeper truth that transcends the boundaries of time and prophecy, inviting us to contemplate the grandeur and majesty of creation itself. If you are interested in this topic, please comment number four. If not, please comment number zero so that I can create a better video for you. The prophetic warnings encoded in Revelation 12 serve as a solemn reminder of the imminent conflict between the forces of darkness, represented by the Antichrist or the Beast, and the faithful saints. Furthermore, it predicts the revival of Israel as a nation, particularly in Jerusalem, which becomes a focal point for geopolitical tensions. These indications, when considered together, serve as a powerful warning, especially for countries like the United States, regarding their stance towards Israel and the potential consequences of territorial divisions. The situation enters a phase of geopolitical maneuvering where recent events have unfolded in a manner eerily reminiscent of biblical prophecies. From August 2017 to January 28, 2020, President Donald Trump's Peace to Prosperity Plan echoed the concept of division outlined in Revelation 12, advocating for a two-state solution. The plan allocated a significant portion of Israel's land, including the eastern half of Jerusalem, to the Palestinians. This move carries historical significance due to the ancient enmity between the Philistines and Israel. However, as the proposed deal was finalized, the world found itself engulfed in an unprecedented series of challenges. The emergence of the pandemic in early 2020 unleashed widespread devastation, impacting continents and causing economic turmoil. This was followed by economic hardships, civil unrest, escalating conflicts, and tensions with Russia, further destabilizing the global order. What is truly remarkable is the unexpected reversal of the predicted signs heralded by the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Instead of unfolding in the anticipated sequence, these events occurred in reverse order, defying expectations and prompting deeper reflection on the unfolding of prophetic narratives. Additionally, in the aftermath of these turbulent events, new alliances have emerged, reminiscent of the biblical Gog and Magog, particularly evident in the alignment of oil-rich nations within OPEC with the growing BRICS alliances led by China. These coalitions present a significant challenge to the dominance of the American dollar in global trade, exacerbating inflationary pressures and casting uncertainty over the stability of the U.S. banking system. As we navigate these tumultuous waters, let us learn from the lessons embedded within prophetic records, 
discern the signs of the times, and prepare ourselves for the forthcoming challenges. In the midst of uncertainty, it is through unwavering faith and vigilant awareness that we find comfort and optimism for the future. If you have an interest in the subject matter of this video, please leave a comment expressing your approval by using the number 5. Conversely, if you do not find it appealing, please leave a comment using the number 0 to inform me so that I can create a better video tailored to your preferences. It is astonishing how these unfolding events align strangely with the prophecies found in the Bible regarding the destiny of Israel during the turbulent era preceding the end times. Let's fast forward to April 8, 2024, exactly seven years after the significant solar eclipse in August 2017. Another celestial phenomenon, a solar eclipse of great importance, is expected to grace the sky. Unlike its predecessor, this eclipse will predominantly cast its shadow over the eastern half of the United States, tracing a notable path in the shape of an X across the nation. However, there is more to this cosmic spectacle than meets the eye. It coincides with the alignment of the constellation Leo, which symbolizes Judah and Jerusalem. This eclipse carries a symbolic resonance reminiscent of biblical imagery. Leo, associated with the majestic Lion of Judah, a representation of Jesus Christ, serves as a powerful symbol of divine sovereignty and redemption. So, what do these celestial omens signify within the framework of biblical prophecy? The number seven, often denoting completion and fulfillment, alludes to the culmination of Israel's 70 weeks of judgment, a sequence defined by cycles of seven years. Instead of merely foreshadowing future events, this eclipse acts as a reflection of past occurrences intertwined with future destinies. The X-shaped path traced by the eclipse holds profound significance, resembling the Hebrew letter Tav, which signifies a mark or seal. This letter is sparingly used in scripture and is associated with the seal of protection bestowed upon those who mourned for the sins of the first Jewish temple, as described in Ezekiel chapter 9. Additionally, it harkens back to the marking of doorposts during the inaugural Passover in Exodus, a precursor to the mark of the beast and the seal of protection over the 144,000 witnesses during the upcoming tribulation period. Hence, the Tav mark etched across the United States represents a dual aspect of divine providence, protection and judgment, particularly concerning Israel's territorial integrity, as the prophetic clock inexorably moves forward. These celestial signs serve as poignant reminders of the interconnected destinies of nations and the unfolding drama of human history. If you found this discussion enlightening, I humbly encourage you to subscribe to our channel Show your support by giving a thumbs up and share this message extensively with your loved ones. Your active participation is crucial in expanding our reach and ensuring the continuity of content that resonates with you. Don't miss out on our future videos. Subscribe now, demonstrate your support, and spread the word. Thank you for watching and for your unwavering support.